This is a New Zulu News Update. I'm Zach Simeone. Breaking news out of Baltimore. The police department held a press conference Thursday on the case of Freddie Gray's death earlier this month. Commissioner Anthony Batts announced that his department had turned over its investigation to the state attorney's office. But the big reveal came when Deputy Commissioner Kevin Davis said that their investigation unveiled a new piece of the timeline leading up to Gray's death. The police van carrying Gray after his arrest made a stop that was not previously known to investigators and was revealed upon reviewing footage from a privately owned CCTV camera. The unrest that began in Baltimore this past weekend has continued to spread both within the U.S. and abroad to London, where a demonstration was held at the U.S. Embassy on Wednesday. But the greatest turnout was seen in New York City, where hundreds of protesters filled Union Square Wednesday evening and marched uptown to Times Square, growing in numbers as they progressed. More than 100 people were arrested, and ABC has reported the assault of an NYPD captain. But events here in New York remained relatively tame in comparison to the riots in Baltimore and Ferguson this week. We'll have more on this story as it develops in the coming days. Meanwhile, in Nepal, international aid for earthquake relief continues to come in as workers search desperately through the rubble for survivors. This contributor's video shows rescuers calling out for a man thought to be trapped beneath the wreckage in Gongabu after the victim's brother reportedly called for help at the scene. Here we see a delegation from the Israeli Defense Force, which reportedly included more than 250 doctors and rescue personnel working in Kathmandu on Wednesday. The Canadian team was also seen working in the capital that same day. As searches continue, the death toll continues to rise, with the latest reports showing close to 5,500 dead. National Animal Day was celebrated in Buenos Aires, Argentina Wednesday with a tribute to 16 dogs retiring from a career of drug and money detection for Argentine customs. At the ceremony, the dogs were adorned with medals and diplomas for their exemplary service. The audience hit all points on the age spectrum with a number of children showing up to honor the accomplished canines. For New Zulu, this is Zach Simeone reporting.